Hello everyone. Uh, this is the fourth video in the series called uh, Job Search Experience. Let me quickly introduce myself again for the new viewers. I am Bhavanshu and I am currently working as a founder and head of data science at Tech of Talent. I have over on nine plus years of experience in data science and analytics. Today uh, we have Daipian Mitra who would be sharing his experience around how he cracked uh, data analyst roles at Zapto and Ipsos as a fresher. So let's listen to him. Hi, Daipayan. Hello, Vivanchu. So firstly, I want to thank you for taking your precious time and sharing your interview experience and job search experience with the job seekers. Okay. Uh, let's start with your introduction first. So I'm Daipayan and I'm from Kolkata. And I'm currently working as an analyst in Ipsos uh, MMA. So my work revolves around market mix modeling. Okay. So as a data analyst, you uh, majorly work on uh, market mix modeling, right? Yes. Okay. And what kind of tools and technologies you use here? The tools and technologies that we use here is Excel, Python, and R. Okay. And it's for project specific. Mostly oh. we use Excel and sometimes we use Python and R as well to handle the large data sets. Yes. Got it. Got it. And what's your educational background? So I have a master's and a bachelor's degree in economics. And my I've done my master's from Calcutta University in Kolkata. And I've done my bachelor's from Scottish Church College in Kolkata. Okay. So in which year you have uh, completed your master's degree? 2024, uh, last, last year. year okay. Yes. Got it, got it. And do you have any experience after your bachelor's or master's? No, I did not have any experience. Okay. So you joined uh, Ipsos as a fresher only? Yes, yes. Okay, nice. So now let's understand about your job search journey. Uh, you can share any hurdles that you have faced, how you kept yourself motivated, and how did you find this current job? Yeah, so firstly, I was dependent on campus placements because my university had like good reputation, like even my last, the last batch before us, they were placed well in good companies like HSBC, EXL and companies like those. Mm -hmm. But in our batch, but in our batch, it was a very bad situation, like almost no companies came. So uh, campus placement started around at around October. Mm -hmm. So uh, October of 2023. Mm -hmm. So October to December, mostly the campus gets over. But in our batch, only one company came. Okay. So uh, after, so in December, I started updating, like uh, doing projects and working on projects and things like that to add in my CV. So uh, from December to almost May, June, I I did good projects and after june uh, like when my uh, post graduation got over i started the job search journey like vigorously started uh, hunting for jobs so i updated my knockery profile mm -hmm. and uh, updated my linkedin you helped a lot there mm -hmm. and uh, i also updated my cv mm -hmm. so after this i uh, sent requests to people in companies which have openings <clears throat> and so for, for, for referral mm -hmm. so there was like i got referrals i, I almost uh, every company that i applied it mm -hmm. was through referral only, only okay. so yes through a data analyst internship at mm -hmm. zepto so after i got that I got okay. a call back. Uh, it was not through a referral, but I got a call back and I had an interview that uh, okay. I, with Zepto. Mm -hmm. And the Ipsos one I got after I was actually referred by a senior of my university only. Oh, so yes, yeah, so he he referred me and I got that interview. So it oh. took almost three months to get the job. Yeah, you were actively looking for a job for uh, almost three months, right? Almost three months. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So you had two offers, uh, Japto and Ipsos, right? Yes, I had two interviews and I had two offers. Okay, only you gave two interviews and you were selected in both. <laughs> yes, yes. Nice, that's nice. Okay, and uh, uh, now you want to share about your interview experience at Ipsos? 
Yes, so uh, it was there were two rounds. The first round was for almost forty minutes, and it was mostly the technical round. And they asked questions about statistics, about economics, econometrics, and uh, more. And they clearly said that we we'll mainly use Excel and Python here. So mm -hmm. they asked me uh, some questions about Excel, Python, and uh, some technical questions like formulas and like what, what conditional formatting and things like that. Mm -hmm. And for Python also, they asked me basic pandas question. Okay. And uh, the first round was very technical, but mm -hmm. mainly they focused on, uh, they wanted to know whether I have done my research on market mix modeling, because okay. in the job description, it was written that uh, the person has to know what uh, market mix modeling is. So mm -hmm. majority of the questions were from market mix modeling and statistics. Uh, the technical Excel Python path was very small. And after that, the second round, uh, the by the VP of our company took the interview, and it was it was a very short interview. It was like 10, 12 minutes. Okay. Uh, he only he only spoke, and the then he after that he asked me about my projects and whether he asked me whether I have used any regression or anything in my projects. And after that, he asked me some basic MMM questions again that was asked in the first round only. Oh. So so basically, it was just a kind of a formality round. And after that, it was I was selected at oh. Ipsos. Nice, nice. So do you have any HR round also after this? No, no, there was no HR round. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay. And uh, uh, they have not asked anything from SQL? No, this uh, no. They did not ask anything from SQL, but they said that if you if you have the knowledge of SQL, it's better for you. Oh. But they have not asked anything from SQL. Got it. Uh, and and any visualization tool, Power BI or Tableau? No, no. Whatever visualization we use, we use it and we we do it in Excel only. Excel only. Okay. One good point that you have mentioned that uh, uh, that they ask everything uh, from a uh, market mix. They have mentioned in the job description. So it's yes. a good point that you should always prepare the job description because it can yes. help you during the interview, right? Yes. So sometimes people, what they do, they go blank without reading the job description. And then uh, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> how interview goes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, do you want to share a Zepto interview experience also? If you want to. Yes, it's like, I'll tell you the... For the first round was taken by, uh, I guess, senior manager. Uh, he uh, he uh, he, he got on the call and he asked me to open a dashboard that you have created from one of my projects. Mm -hmm. He said to explain that dashboard from top to bottom. He okay. said that I'll give you 10 minutes. You mm -hmm. explain whatever business uh, insights you have generated and how you can help your analysis, uh, how you can help the company or mm -hmm. the uh, client with your analysis. Mm -hmm. So I did that he was kind of satisfied when I got I did some mistakes but he corrected me and they said Ki, yeah, this should be your thinking process and not that so business mm -hmm. logic should be there and things like that and after that he asked me some basic Excel and SQL questions but the majority of the interview was my da explaining the dashboard mm -hmm. and that was the first round mm -hmm. and the second round was also taken by someone from uh, like someone at his level only the person who Okay. took the first, first round senior manager yeah so after he asked me that was very that inter that second round was very tech heavy so a lot of excel sql questions were asked they asked me to write queries they asked me to write excel formulas like a lot of things were asked and the second round was yeah it was full tech heavy and the second round was the final one okay. there was no each other yes okay so uh, uh, now for the aspiring data analyst, uh, do you want to share any roadmap or skills uh, they should focus on? Yes. So the skills that mainly people should focus on are the communication skills, because if you cannot explain whatever projects or whatever things you have done to the interview during the to the interviewer during the interview, then it's like they reject you on the spot. Like good communication skills and good presentation skills should be normal. I would also suggest that 
to create your CV in a very proper uh, template for CV and um, give projects, give three, uh, mention your projects, give metrics in your CV. So the CV preparation is a very uh, important part. After that, you should look for referrals and without referrals, don't apply to any company without referrals because mostly they hire through referrals only. So these are all the things that I want the aspiring data analysts to know. Thank you, Depan. So uh, anything you want to talk about referrals? Are referrals, referrals important? Yes, it, it does work. I a lot of my friends in my batch they have got like after like it took a long time. So one of my friends got placed in December of last year. So okay. it took him six months. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it is a very tedious project, a tedious thing looking for jobs as a fresher. It's very difficult to get it right now. But uh, referrals are important. Without referrals, mostly I think companies don't even acknowledge your CV. Right. Right, right. This is what I tell my mentees also. Like if you don't go with referrals in the current job market, people are not going to see your CVs also. So, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Dabayan, for sharing your uh, job search experience with the job seekers. And I'm sure it is going to help a lot of aspiring uh, data analysts. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that Pian's uh, job search experience will help you. Uh, in this series, uh, we have more such uh, job search experiences. Please don't forget to like this video, uh, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell icon to get the instant notifications. And I will see you soon in the next video.